As local farmers prepare for their busiest time of year, they're waiting for the next farm bill to be finalized. U.S. House Agriculture Chairman Glenn Thompson expects to reveal the legislation within the next month. KOIM's Fernanda Silva spoke to Kansas Senator Jerry Moran and to a local farmer to hear their perspectives on the bill. Weighing on us all, we're all scratching our heads where this is going to go. The reason for the Kinson farmer Jeff Clark's concern is the rise in operating costs. Fertilizer, all, all inputs have gone up just like everybody sees at the grocery store and the gas station. It affects us the same way. The rise in prices is also one of the things Kansas Senator Jerry Moran hopes to see addressed in the new farm bill. From my perspective, the number one thing we have to take into account is the increasing input costs. So there's a safety net that's designed to try to help farmers when they uh, aren't breaking even. Um, and if you're using old price data on what um, fertilizer used to cost or what natural gas used to cost, those those that safety net isn't sufficient to take care of the problems that farmers face today. Currently, nutrition programs account for about three-fourths of the $428 billion projected total cost of the 2018 Farm Act. Crop insurance, conservation, and commodities represent nearly all the rest. That's according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. If that safety net is not in place and if there's not crop insurance to take care of the circumstances when drought, hail, floods, freeze, all the things that can go wrong, if that's not taken care of by crop insurance, something that the farmer buys, uh, but the federal USDA subsidizes, makes it affordable, if that's not available, then no young farmer is going to be able to go to the bank and borrow any money to do farming operations. Agriculture is the largest economy driver in Kansas with a total contribution of $81 billion to the Kansas economy, according to the Kansas Department of Agriculture. Clark says he pretty much doesn't count on governmental help to run his farms. We've kind of been on our own in the last few years. All, all subsidies have, have uh, faded away, which that's fine with us. We'd rather farm without them. But if extra support is offered, he might take it. It's hard to turn down money if they want to assist, but uh, um, the current state, the, they have not been helping. Fernanda Silva, KOEM News. The Farm Bill is renewed every five years. The current one is valid until September. Let's 